Hi, my name's Toast, and welcome to Toast Tutorials, the series where I teach you how to get the most from your creative tools. Today we're going to be making guns with the new projectile launchers. We're going to start by making a semi-automatic gun, and then turn it into an automatic gun with one simple component. Let's get into it. It's worth noting that some of the things I use in this video are currently in beta, so to enable beta content, go onto your watch, this room, settings, and scroll down until you find Allow Creative Tools Beta Content. This will allow you to see all of the wonderful new things that Rec Room are trying to get out to the public. Let's start by collecting up all of the bits you're going to need to make this. Go onto your Maker Pen, click Palette, go onto the CV2, and view more on CV2 Gadgets. You'll find Projectile Launcher. This is the new way of shooting bullets in Rec Room with CV2. Now we need to get ourselves a trigger handle. Go onto your Maker Pen, clear all of that out, go to Props, Dynamic, and then near the bottom you should find Trigger Handle. Now you'll notice when you unselect this, that'll just drop to the floor, not keeping the projectile launcher with it. So let's tick these two together. Go to your Maker Pen, go to Gadgets, Gizmos, and then Clamp. Then we're we'll gonna put a clamp down anywhere, doesn't matter. Go to tools and move this just down in front of it. Then wire the trigger handle to the base of this and then the projectile launcher to the head of it. These will now be stuck together and this is your gun. To make this easier to edit, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna configure both of these and I'm gonna detach from object. So now, as I move this around, that doesn't come with it, so it's a lot easier to play with. From this point, it's as simple as wiring primary action pressed to fire forwards. And as simple as that, you've got yourself an easy gun. I don't like the clicking sound it makes as you shoot it, so I'm going to configure the trigger handle and just turn that off. Wonderful. Now what we want to do is make this a continuous fire, so it will fire for as long as you hold the button down. We want to go to our palette, go to Circuits V2, scroll along until you find Time. The first thing will be a delay. Now just throw the delay down on top of the rest of this, put it just about anywhere, it'll be fine. Now you want to put Primary Action pressed into Run, put Run into Fire Forwards, and then just wire After Delay back into Run then put cancel into primary action released. So when you hold the button, that will go off and set itself off every time and every time it sets off, it'll fire until you stop holding, it will release and then cancel the delay. Creating this. I'm holding once right now and it just fires itself. And that's as simple as it is. That concludes this video. Hope you enjoyed, because you know what happens if you didn't. 